Today I'm going to teach you how to make a 3D snowflake. You will need square paper. You'll need six of these. I've gone ahead and already pre-cut those for myself. Um, these are eight and a half inch squares. You can really go with any size square you'd like. The larger the square, the larger the snowflake. Let's see, take your first piece of paper and fold one corner to the other corner, making sure to match those corners before you press down to so make a large triangle. Fold it side down. We're gonna take those two wide sides, fold them towards themselves for a small triangle. Now you have an option. We're gonna do this six times, so you can repeat that step five times um, or not. I'm gonna go ahead and move on to step number two because there's a pretty disastrous mistake you can make if you fold them all the wrong way and cut them the wrong way. So I'm gonna open and cut each one um, before moving on. So I'm gonna have that open side, folded side back, and the two folds here. You can go ahead and you can just cut the three lines that you need to make going straight across, stopping about an inch from the edge of the paper, or you could use a ruler and a pencil and make those guidelines for yourself. It's up to you. I'm gonna go ahead and just cut. Okay. I'm gonna open it up to make sure I've done it correctly. And when you open it up, you're going to want to make sure that you have this diamond shape cut design. If it's incorrect, it will look like this and it will have straight lines going down. That's why I said you might want to do one at a time to make sure you've done it correctly. So that's my first one. I have to do this five more times. So I make my First fold diagonal to diagonal to make the big triangle. Fold it again, make the smaller triangle. Fold down here, openings over here. Cut your three lines, making sure to stop before you get to the edge. Okay, that's two. I'll probably go ahead and speed up the section of the video um, that repeats this step just so that you guys don't have to slowly watch me cut all of these. Make sure you're flipping your paper so that the fold is always in the back side here. The openings are along your left hand and you're coming up from that fold across. Your cut edges will also be about diagonally spaced from this edge to the edges here on that angle. Last one here. Okay. Now that we're done with that section, we're gonna open them all up. We have become pros at folding our triangles and cutting our straight lines across. This next step, we are going to use some 
tape if you have it at home. Um, some of you may like to pre-cut a bunch of pieces of tape so you don't have to cut them in between. Um, especially if you're doing this at home with siblings, you can cut some tape, put it along the edge of your table here so you can just peel it off the edge of the table when you need it. Um, so that way you're not sitting here waiting for someone else to be done with the tape dispenser. Okay. Also for this step, we're gonna take the points off to either side here and pull them up towards the center and apply the tape like so. Some of you may find that it's easier to stick like some sort of pencil or marker in this space. Um, I haven't ever found that to be easier, um, but I've seen plenty of people do it that way. Um, that's an option. So once you do the first, okay, we're gonna flip it upside down, grab another piece of tape and pull your two corners up to the center tape it together. You can begin to see there's a, a loop on this side, a loop on this side. Each time you do it, you flip it upside down and do the opposite side. Pull the triangle points together, tape, flip it over, and pull the triangle points together. Try to be as straight as possible on this. Um, so that when we're hanging it, our, um, our snowflake doesn't end up like all crooked and stuff. Okay. So that's the first of the six that you're going to make. Okay. I'll do one more in regular speed of the film. And then like, just like with the folding, I'll probably speed up the others just so that once you've gotten the hang of it, you don't have to fast forward yourselves or slowly wash. Okay. It's important to make sure that you flip it back over and do the opposite direction. So pull together a tape, flip, pull together the points and tape. Okay, we're gonna go in fast motion now. one.
And voila, done. We're done with the tape. You're gonna wanna use your stapler next, okay? Now, it, once you become a pro, you can take all three pieces, put them together and staple them. I'm gonna do it one at a time because we're not at pro status yet. So we're gonna take our two points, match them up so that they are perfectly aligned. Then take your stapler and just give one staple to pin it together. Then take another one, match this point up to the other two points that you already have matched and add another staple. Okay, so it ends up with two staples, but we made sure it was perfectly matched. The pros in the audience here can match all three, which is a little trickier, a little bit more fine motor control and just apply one staple for the three. Then you take your two halves and instead of matching them up like we had before, we're going to point them towards each other, overlap them just a bit, take our stapler, and we're going to want to put in a couple staples to this one, not too many, but enough that that holds that center sturdy. Okay. Stapler still. We have these floppy sides that are not holding on to themselves. So we're going to match the bodies up and staple them. Find the next two matching points. When you do this, we go all the way around the circle, matching. Once again, trying to line it up as best you can so that we don't have crooked snowflakes. The more of these you do, the better you'll get at them. And they are super easy. All you need is those six square sheets of paper, some tape and a stapler. So you have supplies at home. You could be making them for every window in your house. Okay. So all of my points are stapled together now. If you have a hole punch at home, you can go ahead and punch a hole in the top point and then string some yarn or some twine to hang in your window. Enjoy. Okay. We are going to make an origami fir tree. So first step, we're gonna take our square origami paper and fold it in half from corner to corner. And we wanna do that twice. So when we fold it, we open it back up, go the opposite direction, corner to corner, so that we have an X, one, two. Now I'm gonna fold it in half side to side. So we have our original X folds and then we have our T fold across. Okay. I want this diamond to come down on this diamond, but I don't want these to poke out. I want them to poke in. Now I have, you can see like the little sides tucked in, little sides tucked in, you can see from underneath. Okay. That wasn't the hardest part. Okay. Um, so let's see. Once again, looking at my direction. So I'm going to take just the top portion and leave this back one alone because we're going to do some stuff to the front and flip it over and do some stuff to the back, similar to our snowflake that we just did. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fold this down on the center so that it meets that center line off to either side. And I will show you in a moment what I did. Okay. So that's step one, step two, step three. Step four says to open the side. Open it so that this, okay, 
and I might have to like stop the video and really figure out what I'm doing. And okay, so we have that out. So that right there, that fold, we're gonna actually push it out a little. So we get this flat piece right here. And maybe this goes in. So see it goes out and then in. So we can begin to see like that little triangle tree shape there. I'm gonna try and do that on the other side now. So this pops out. So we're going against the fold basically. So where it was folded forward, it's gonna fold backwards now where that folded outward, it's gonna fold inward now, out and in. Let's flip it over because that wasn't hard enough. Let's do the other side. Remember, we're going to make our two folds, which are kind of like wings. This reminds me of like paper airplane folds. That part's pretty easy. Okay. But it's not a solid surface like this is. It still has our flaps. So we need to take our flap and where it's folded out, we're going to push the fold in. Making sure to stay right on that fold line. We don't want to create a new fold line. We just want to take it and pop this one out and this one in. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to take our scissors and we want to cut across and get rid of the bottom. So now we have that fir tree shape. Okay. Similar to the snowflake, we're going to make notch cuts and we're going to go up and down the side. Let's see. It looks like one, two, three, four, five cuts off to either side, but we don't want to cut all the way across and cut our tree like we just did. We just want to make little knots. So five is an odd number. So I'm going to do my notch at the bottom. And then one like kind of towards the top where I think I might want it. So that's two, then three, four, and one in the middle is five. Okay, and then do the other side, trying to make them as even as possible. Okay, so that's my base cut right there. Then come up towards the top. And this is a little snip right there because we don't want to cut all the way across to the tree. There we go. Another one, another one. And I'm only squeezing my scissors a little bit so that there's only little knots. Just not even sure if you guys can see that on the screen. Okay. What we want to do now is we want to open it up. It begins to take on that tree shape. And with each of the knots, you're going to go ahead and fold so that the tree has a little bit of dimension. But first, open. Okay, and it would, let's see if I hold there, it stands up. I'm going to go ahead and fold the little corners down. Just looking at my photo. So I know how to do that. Okay. So there's just a little bit of a fold, a little bit of a fold. And go all the way down on each of the sides. This part, I'm going to go ahead and fast forward. Um, but make sure that your folds are going all in the same direction. So when you move around in the circle of your tree, keep folding in the same direction, okay? This part's gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and speed fold those.
You guys may have some coffee filters at home. We're gonna work on some six-sided snowflakes using coffee filters. Um, there's a really neat trick out there where you can take markers and you can design any sort of pattern. You can even just fill it in with blocks of color um, and then use a little water dropper and drop water on it. Let the marker bleed into itself, kind of like a watercolor painting. Allow them to dry fully, which is probably like overnight, and then you can cut out snowflakes. I'm just going to show you using the white coffee filter, just in case you don't have markers at home or you prefer white snowflakes. So first step is to take your snowflake and fold it in half. It becomes kind of like a rising sun. Then we're going to test those math skills. We're going to take one side and fold it over so that it's a third of the way over. Okay, so I just took that side, I folded it a third of the way over. This is where the, the fold ends. So I didn't bring it all the way to the side and I didn't bring it in the center. Brought it one third over. Then take that and fold it, meet the corners. All right, so this is just folded in thirds. That's what gives us our um, six sided. If you were to fold it twice, you'd get an eight pointed star. I'll just show you what that process is like. So in half again, in half a second time, and then in half a third time, you end up with a skinnier triangle. This is going to achieve an eight pointed star. This is a six pointed star snowflake. Okay. There are some really fun designs out there that you can do. Um, this is going to be the center of our snowflake and this will be the outer edge. We do not want to cut all the way through just like in our 3D snowflake in our origami tree. We don't want to cut all the way across. We just want to make notch cuts. So I'm going to go ahead and make my first notch cut. I'm going to make it out and then back up like this and do it again from the same side all right i'm going to flip this over because i'm right-handed so it's easier to cut using when i move it and use the scissors from the right and i think one little if you cut the tip off, you end up having like a hole in the center of your snowflake, just a little tip. And then I'm also going to cut the edge because I don't want a circular edge. I want to come in, making sure I cut through all of the layers right now. Come in like that. And then I'm going to come out. So this is what it looks like before I cut it. Or before I opened it, sorry. Open it up. Ooh, I made a little heart over there. All right. These can get hung up in your windows. They can get hung on the wall. Okay, let's try our eight-pointed star just for the fun of it. It's already folded. Um, I think this time I'm going to go with a little bit more of um, angular snips. So I will do like more of like a zigzag maybe. Fun thing with this is not even for me so much the finished product, but just the process of figuring out, okay, if I do this, what happens? What will it look like? Want to make sure to cut through all your layers, but not cut so much that you're cutting straight across. Okay, and I think I will do, I want to see what happens if I cut like a, just a bigger section instead of little sections. And you can 
see these sections here, that's where I made that large cut. And these were the little snips that I made up here. Um, no two snowflakes are alike, so have fun.